Here we go, we're back again. This is my mom. Hello, people from TV land. <laughs> this is Mama Mel's uh, ghetto fabulous kitchen. I am attempting to make tamales. They are not Hispanic tamales. These are tamales made in the city of Nigadone, California. <laughs> this is the way we do it when you get to. Here we go. You want your masa and your corn husk like that. I soak the corn husk overnight in water so they be pliable. Take a spoon of corn of a masa, mash it out no. into the where you get the masa and the corn husk. You get it husk. from the stove. I know they couldn't be that damn dumb. <laughs> Tell them where you got it from. Uh, Felicia got it from me. Chicken Wayne got it. What store you get it from? Food for less. Thank you. You can get the masa that's already made up and the, uh, what do you call them thing? Corn husk? Yeah. Okay. I let my masa come to room temperature because it's easier to work with. And you see, I put it in this bowl and I put a little oil over it because it's kind of sticky. And you can also wet your hands. And you don't want a whole lot of masa because you don't want it to be thick on that tamale. So this is the masa right here. This is the the uh, pork meat. And I just take some and put it in here like so. See how that is? You don't want to overpack it, but then you want to put some meat in it so you can taste it. Then you bring one side up like that. Kind of tuck it like a roll it. And get with the other side and you start rolling it up. See? Roll it. And then fold it. See that? That's the way it looks. Then I have created what I call Melvin's Steam Pot. It's basically a strainer because I'm not going to spend no $12 for no tamale pot. And sit it inside and stack your tamales like that when you get it all filled up. Put the top on it and steam it. There you go. Okay, now with your pork meat, what did you do and what kind of meat, what kind of pork is that? This is what they call cushion meat. And it's uh, from a pork shoulder without the bone. And I just took that and boiled it. I didn't put any seasoning or anything in it. I just boiled it till it got tender. Then when it cools off after it gets done, then you shred it. Like shredding like that. And I put chipotle peppers. Mashed them up and put that in there. Some cumin some garlic powder, a little seasoned salt, basically seasoned to taste. We like our food spicy, so I use quite a few chipotle peppers, which are kind of spicy and hot. And you just let the meat cool, and then you get to do it wrapping. And the same thing for the chicken. I've got a rotisserie chicken. Pull the meat off, seasoned it, shredded it. And I'll do that same thing that I'm doing with the pork, with the chicken. But just keep them separate because you're not going to know the difference. And uh, that's what that is. That's how you do it. Did you put some chipotle in the chicken yes, too? Yes, I did. I put chipotle, I put uh, a little seasoning, salt, some garlic powder, some cumin. And a little chicken broth to keep it moist because you don't want them dry so they'll choke everybody. I moistened mine with a little chicken broth and in this pork one, I moistened it with some of the broth that I boiled the pork in. 